In this short Civil 3D tutorial, you'll see how to create a report for a profile from a surface. This is necessary if you ever want to use your sample data from your alignments inside of another program such as Microsoft Excel. If the profile was created by layout, this is no problem, but for the surface profile, the reports in the toolbox won't work. If you look inside of the toolbox that contains the Civil 3D reports, if I try to run one now with only my sampled profiles in this drawing, such as the incremental stationing report, I'll get an error message that says that there's no finished grade profiles in this drawing. How am I going to get around this? What I'll need to do is I'll need to take my information inside of one of these sampled profiles and then copy it to a design profile. There's a few things that get in the way of doing that though. The first is that if I try to use the copy profile command, I'll see that the copy profile command is currently grayed out. This is because this is a dynamic profile. If I use a static profile, I'll be able to use this command. The other thing that gets in the way is that I first need to create my layout profile before I can copy the profile. I'm now going to walk through the steps from scratch as if you were creating a new profile to show you how to do this. The first thing is to create a new surface profile like you would normally. The only difference is to make the update mode static instead of dynamic. Now I'm going to create a new profile by layout or using the profile creation tools. I don't want it labeled. Most design profiles you would except for this one it's going to be sampled, so I'll get too many labels if I use a label set. Now I'm going to directly close these profile layout tools. To be sure, I'm going to rename my old profile that I created before for the existing ground. It was just EG3, the other one's EG Layout 3. And now I'm going to edit the profile geometry using the profile layout tools. And notice that I can copy the profile now. I want to overwrite the existing profile that I just created and closed the toolbar for. And I must make sure to not check this overwrite all properties box. If this is selected, then it's going to overwrite the fact that it's an existing profile and I won't be able to run reports on it. Now, notice that there's a cyan line here for my design profile. And this means that I'm now able to run reports on this profile that I just created and copy the data to. I can run the report and then like most Civil 3D reports, I can take this information and paste it to Excel. And then I can do whatever I need to with this information.